It'll be Mason Berg against Blake Lazat for the opening faceoff. St. Cloud won 65% of the draws last night. The Tigers have to be better on the faceoffs. They are not to start the game as Lazat wins the draw. And Jimmy Schold will dump it into the Tiger zone, but from his side of center ice, that's an icing call, and the faceoff will come back into the St. Cloud zone. David Rennick. Made 12 saves last night on 15 shots. The sophomore from Slovakia played junior hockey with the Green Bay Gamblers of the U.S. Hockey League. St. Cloud wins another draw. They'll lift it out to center ice, but Farney will play it right back into the St. Cloud zone. Here come the Huskies trying to bring it up ice, but they can't get to the Tiger line. Farney has it back in his own zone. On the left side, he'll send it ahead to center ice. Here's Halloran with speed. Hands it off to Berg. Berg out front, Mashad. Mashad stopped on the doorstep by Rennick. But we're going to get a penalty call here. It's going to be a slash, and the Tigers are going to get a power play just 35 seconds into the game. So the Tigers using speed and transition. And Blake Lazat draws the slashing call. And the Tigers will go on the power play. It's a power play for charity presented by Olsen Plumbing and Heating. The Tigers one for four last night officially on the power play. Their first goal, the Oki goal, came just seconds after the power play expired. Another face-off win for St. Cloud, and it's going to be lifted the length of the ice by Jack Paling. Brian Yoon, the freshman from Parker, Colorado, will lead the rush. Yoon sends it over to the left side to Crookshank. He'll whip it into the St. Cloud zone, and delayed call, but we've got an offside whistle against the Tigers. Still in the first minute of the first period. Tiger power play on the year, connecting 21.1% of the time. St. Cloud's penalty killing outstanding. They've killed off 28 of 30 shorthanded situations in the young season. Berg, Mashad, Halloran up front, Bradley and Blumenshine round out the power play unit. And Tigers win that draw, a little sloppy doing so. And they'll retreat back into their own zone and get things started from behind their own net. Here's Blumenschein. Blumenschein lugs it up to center ice, drops it back to Berg. Berg over to the right side, Halloran. Halloran hands it off to Mashad. Mashad working down the right side, cuts toward the net. And they lost the puck, but Bradley's there to help out. Bradley gives it to Berg. Down low for Bradley. Back over to Berg on the right side. Cross ice pass. Halloran back to Blumenschein. His blast knocked down out in front. Loose puck. Halloran tries to sweep it out in front. Can't get it to the goal mouth, and it's swept out of the zone and down into the Tigers' end. One minute gone in the power play. Blumenshine settles the puck down. It was rolling for a bit. And Blumenshine will give it off to Versich. Versich off the bench, plays it ahead to Weston Mashad, in across the line. Mashad plays it ahead to Berg, who tips it in behind the goal. Newell will pick it up and send it the length of the ice for St. Cloud. 40 seconds remaining in the man advantage. Yoon will lead the rush now. Over to the left side, Crookshank. Grant Crookshank wrists it into the St. Cloud and comes off the end boards. Shot attempt there by Berard Nelly, stopped by Rennick. And the puck's going to be picked up and carried out of the zone. Here's Newell. Three on one chance here for St. Cloud. Newell feeds it out in front a little too far for Fitzgerald. And we're going to get a penalty call coming here to the Tigers. Delayed penalty call is going to be made. And with 13 seconds remaining on the Blake Lazat penalty, the first penalty of the game going against the Tigers will go to Trevor Gooch. He doesn't like it. It's going to be a hooking call. And that comes at 2.22 of the period. Face off in the Tigers zone to the left. Of Alex LeClaire will skate four on four for a Baker's dozen worth of seconds. St. Cloud wins the draw. And the loose puck's going to be chipped out of the zone down toward the St. Cloud line. Bradley races after it. He gets control. Bradley pulls up in the left corner. Sends it back to the line. Farney. 
St. Cloud now on the power play. They're at full strength, and Farney shot gloved by Rennick, and he will hold on. So the Huskies get their first power play chance of the game. Last night, St. Cloud two for three with the man advantage. Face off to the right of David Rennick. Rennick, 6'2", 190 pounds. 4-0 on the air with a 1.5 goals against average. Tigers win the draw. Farney with a shot. Goes off a skate into the near corner. Oki will swing it around the boards deep in the St. Cloud zone. Newell shovels it over to Jack Oshin. Oshin leads the Huskies in scoring with 11 points. One goal, 10 assists. Oshin gives it over to Benson who flips it into the Tiger zone. Oki in the far corner. Tied up there. Battle for the puck in that far corner. 115 remaining in the penalty kill. Seven players over there trying to work it free. It's finally worked loose. Here's a shot by Benson. Clangs off the crossbar. And it comes over to the near side. Benson. Hounded by Berardinelli, but he's able to get the puck over to Walker. Walker gives it to Newell. Newell back to Oshin. Into the left circle, Fitzgerald cross ice pass, deflected behind the net. Now the pass from Fitzgerald intended for make that. Uh, Walker's pass, an errant one, and it comes all the way down ice. 35 seconds remaining in the St. Cloud power play. Ryan Paling hands it off to Blake Lazzotti, gives it right back to Paling. Back to the line, Jimmy Scholl. Back to Ryan Paling, top of the left circle, cross ice pass. Here's a one-timer by Jackson, played perfectly by Alex LeClaire, who makes the save, and it's cleared down the ice. 15 seconds remaining in the Gooch penalty. 15.50 left here in the first period. Here comes Brodzinski. Down the right side into the Tiger zone. He pulls up along the right wing boards. Hands it back to Scholl. Scholl down the right side. Jack Paling. Paling gives it to Lazat. Lazat's pass broken up partially by Oki. The Tigers are at full strength. Four and a half minutes gone in the first period. Blake Lazat works his way out of the corner. Throws it right out in front. Picked up by Mason Berg. He'll circle behind the net. Comes out on the left side and feeds it ahead for Gooch. Gooch in across the line. Knocked off his stick. Jack Paling. Hands it back for Brendan Bushy. Bushy's able to get it out into the neutral zone. Schull shovels it over to the left side. Fitzgerald rolls it into the left wing corner. Jack Paling takes a bump from Yoon. It's poked over to the near corner by Berg. Nick Paling muscled off the puck by McCaskill. Now Fitzgerald in the near corner of the Tiger zone. Fitzgerald gets it over to Jack Paling. It's knocked off his stick. And Trevor Gooch will skate it up to center ice. He'll play it off the right wing boards into the St. Cloud zone. Icing's going to be waved off on the play. 14.35 to play in a scoreless first period. Loose puck at the Tiger line. Gathered in by Eric Middendorf. Middendorf's pass broken up, and it's going to be pushed down into the Tiger zone. Blumenshine rolls it along the end boards in the CC zone. It comes over to Middendorf. He tries to play it up the near boards. He gets it to the line but can't get it out. Now Middendorf's going to overskate it. It'll be played into the right corner. Newell gets control for St. Cloud. Newell feeds it to Lazat in the slot. It's knocked off his stick. And now Conzo gathers it up and skates it out into the neutral zone. His pass broken up by Perbix. Quickly over to the left side. Here is St. Cloud. Perbix over on the left wing. Feeds it through the slot. It comes off a stick over to the near side. Race for the puck. Blake Lazat gets there at the same time as Mashad. They cancel each other out, but Perbix flips a shot that goes wide of the Tiger goal. Now Newell gives it to Jack Oshin. Oshin in the left corner. The defenseman hands it off. It comes back to the line. Newell over to the right side. Perbix, he'll clang it off the end boards. It caroms over to the far side, and now it is Cristiano Versich for the Tigers. He gives the puck away in the corner. St. Cloud with control. Sam Henches gets it back to the line. Now Schuld working along the blue line. Now steps into the right circle. Schuld cuts toward the net, flips it through the goal mouth. He's going to pick it up himself over on the far side. Jimmy Schuld goes behind the Tiger goal. Schuld, the captain of the Huskies, sends it back to Oshin. He'll send it cross ice. Newell over on the left side. St. Cloud just holding on to the puck in the Tiger zone. 
Here's a shot from the top of the left circle by Jake Wallen, gloved by LeClaire. He'll hold on and we'll take a break. 12.52 to play here in the first. No score, you're listening to Colorado College Tiger Hockey Night on the CC Tiger Hockey Network. Colorado College zone to the right of Alex LeClaire. Through the first seven minutes and change, the Huskies with three shots on net, the Tigers have one. Berg, Halloran, and Bradley, the forwards. Another face-off win for St. Cloud. Here is John Lazat with a blast from the right point that goes wide of the net. It's poked up to the line, but not out. Now it caroms off the leg of Farney out into the neutral zone. Robbie Jackson plays it right back into the Colorado College end. Farney gets it. He'll hand it off now to Ben Israel, who rolls it up to center ice. John Lazat loses the puck, now Halloran. Hands it off to Berg, and we're going to get an offside call here against the Tigers. Berg doesn't like it. But we'll get a faceoff outside the St. Cloud State blue line. Mason Berg and Ryan Paling for the draw. No question those guys know each other. They're from the Twin Cities area. The Paling brothers all from Lakeville, Minnesota. Mason Berg from Eden Prairie. Playing the Tiger zone. Here is Ryan Paling. Knocked off his stick. Kept in at the line, but only for a moment. It's going to be played back to the Tiger line, and now Farney's pass. The flex over to Berg. Berg. Into the St. Cloud zone, and we've got an offside call again against the Tigers. Looks like Nick Halloran was in ahead of the play, and then after the whistle, Nick Paling with a little shot on Berg. He didn't like it, but since they know each other, not much comes of that. 11.57 to play here in the first. No score. Each team has had a power play chance. Grant Crookshank steps out onto the ice now for the Tigers. Crookshank, Mashad, and Copeland. Fitzgerald, who was perfect on faceoffs, according to the stat sheet last night, wins that one. And now Nick Paling will send it deep into the Tigers' zone. Paling battling with Pernitsky. Paling along the end boards, gets control, sends it back to the line. Here's Meyer with a shot that goes well wide of the net. Jack Paling over on the left side, takes a bump from Crookshank. Paling fights off the check. Now both Crookshank and Paling go down to the ice. Tigers trying to get it out of their own end. Pernitsky took a whack at it, couldn't get it out. Kept alive by Fitzgerald. He'll carry behind the Tiger goal. Kevin Fitzgerald gets it back to the line. Spencer Meyer on the right side, wheels it around the boards. Taken by Jack Paling, try to come out from behind the net. Sends it back to the line now. Meyer with a shot. Big rebound off the end boards. Gathered in by Brian Yoon. Now Ben Copeland. Plays it off the near boards. Mashad knocked down from behind. Tiger bench wants a penalty. They're not going to get one. Should have been a penalty call there. Now it is Tanner Oki in the St. Cloud end. Takes a hit along the end boards. And the puck squirts free. It's going to be gathered in by Easton Brodzinski. Brodzinski gives it over on the left side. And... Jack Paling rolls it into the Tiger zone. Now Blumenshine. He'll step up to center ice with the puck. Gets it over to the right side. Brazola kicks it in deep into the St. Cloud end. 10.25 left in the period. Jacob Benson. Starts the breakout for St. Cloud. Brodzinski along the right side. Knocks Brazola out of the way. Brodzinski. Hands it off in the right corner. Jake Wallen sends it back to the line. Here's Schultz. His shot right into the bread basket of LeClaire, and he'll hold on with 10.06 to play in the first period. College football scoring update for you. Second quarter. How about them Wildcats of Northwestern? They're even up with Notre Dame at seven apiece. Face off to the right of LeClaire. Berg and Lazat. No, it won't be Lazat. He's going to get chased out of the face off. 
Patrick Newell steps in against Berg. Berg wins the draw. It's played around the boards over to the near side, and now it is Bradley on the left wing. His pass broken up by Lozada, who lost his stick. And now Bradley will play it ahead too far for Halloran, who gets knocked down at center ice. Halloran back up, but the puck skips past him. And it's going to be rolled into the St. Cloud zone. Just past the midway point of the first period. No score. Now Lazat carries up toward the Tiger line. His pass too far for Sam Henches. Israel will wheel it around the boards out to center ice. Newell will send it back into his own zone for Ashen. Ashen ahead to Lazat. Lazat carries up to the line, but the Huskies are offside, and we'll take a break here. 9:23 left here in a scoreless first period. You are listening to Colorado College Tiger Hockey Night on the seat. Inside the Tiger line, won by the Tigers. Now here's Middendorf charging down the left side into the St. Cloud zone. He's slowed down by Perbix. Perbix, the freshman defenseman, wheels it around the boards behind his own net. It's going to be chipped out of the zone out to center ice. Versich will chase it down at the Tiger blue line. Versich circles back in front of the Tiger net, plays it too hard off the right wing boards for Middendorf. Nick Perbix for St. Cloud. His pass broken up by Konzo. It carries back behind the Huskies' net. And now Ashen sends it ahead up the left side. Here's Palings descending across ice. It goes behind everybody. Tigers in transition, three on two. Here's Konzo, top of the left circle. His shot goes off the skate wide of the net. Gooch battling forward at the side of the goal. Can't get control of it. Jimmy Schultz shovels it over to the near side to Ryan Paling. Paling had to come off his stick. But Jack Oshin is there to help him out. Now he'll send it out to center ice for Zola. Pick that off and then sends it into the St. Cloud zone. But that's going to be an icing call here against Colorado College. Let's take a look at the goaltenders going between the pipes with Olsen plumbing and heating. The Tiger netminder, of course, Alex LeClaire. 4 1 and 1 on the year. With a 2.09 goals against average, 929 save percentage. One shutout on the year. David Rennick, the sophomore, having a great start. 4-0 with a 1.68 goals against, 922 save percentage. He also has a shutout on the season, making back-to-back -back starts for the first time this season. Face off to the right of LeClaire. Shots are 5-1 in favor of St. Cloud. Fitzgerald wins another faceoff. Shot from the line by Shoulders blocked. And then John Lazat's shot is blocked. Tigers get it out to center ice. Now Berard Nelly gets it ahead to Oki. Oki looking for Gooch, but the pass too far in front of him. Coming down the left side. Now Gooch trying to tie it up along the left wing boards. John Lazat will work it free. He'll swing it around the boards. Brian Yoon pinching in down the right side. Try to get it over to Berard Nelly. It goes off his skate. Now here comes St. Cloud. Three on two. Back the other way. Jack Paling down the left side. His shot kicked out by LeClaire. Big rebound comes out of the zone. Sent right back in behind the Tiger goal. LeClaire slows it down, and we've got a whistle here. Nope, thought I heard a whistle. Plays continuing. Here is Yoon shoveling it into the St. Cloud zone. 7.25 remaining in the first period. Shots are 6-1 in favor of St. Cloud. Now Berg down the right side in the Husky zone. He lets go of the shot. Saved by Rennick. He'll hold on. We'll get a face-off in the St. Cloud zone with 7-12 to play in the period. Out-of-town scoreboard, Wisconsin in the first period. Leads North Dakota 1-0. In the vacation hotspot of North America, Grand Forks, North Dakota. Face-off to the left of Rennick. Berg and Blake Lazat. Lazat wins another draw. Sam Henches swings it back in behind his own net. Ashen over on the near side. He'll play it up to the line, but not out. Ashen gives it to Newell. Newell's pass up the right side. Here is Blake Lazat. Drops it back. Henches right circle. Tried to drop it back for Ashen, trailing the play, but the pass missed the mark, and it comes out of the zone. 
6.40 remaining in the first period. No score. Here's Newell. Newell up to the Tiger line. Hands it off to Lazada on the left side. He gives it away to Israel and Israel. Air mails it to center ice. Player falls down. Now here's a chance for Copeland. Copeland's got two men out front over to Mashad. Mashad's shot goes off a stick. Copeland picks it up on the left side. He's hauled down. Penalty call coming here to the Huskies. So the Tigers are going to go back on the power play here. It's with 6.18 to play in the period. is going to be the time of the tripping call to Blake Lazat, his second penalty of the game. And it's time for another power play for charity presented by CNC Sand and Stone Company. Face off in the left circle of the St. Cloud zone, Mashad Halloran, Bradley, Berg, and Blumenshine, the power play unit. Huskies win the draw, and they easily send it down the length of the ice. So Lazat's in the box for the second time in the first period. Tripping's the call, Blumenshine. Hands it off to Berg who gains the zone. He'll drop it back for Bradley on the left side. Bradley hands it off to Halloran. Back to Bradley behind the goal. Over to the right side, Berg. Berg top of the right circle. Down low, Bradley on the right side, Bradley. Back to Berg, inside the line. Gives it to Blumenshine, Blumenshine to Halloran. Outer edge of the left circle, Halloran. I defeated it, Bradley. It goes off a St. Cloud stick into the right corner. It's played to the line, but not out. Kept in by the Tigers, but not for long. Here comes St. Cloud. Here is Nick Paling into the Tiger zone. His shot grabbed by LeClaire. He drops it to keep the play going. Now Berg sends it back to Mashad. Tigers changing here. A minute remaining in the man advantage. Brian Yoon. Waits for his teammates to come on the ice. Now he'll lead the rush up ice. He gives it a gooch. Back to Yoon at the left point. He'll send it cross ice. One time attempt by Crookshank is blocked and it's easily cleared by the Huskies. 40 seconds remaining in the power play. Under five to play in the period. No score in the game. Here's Grant Crookshank giving it back to Yoon. Yoon up the right side. Here's Versich down the right wing. Versich forced behind the net. Versich still has it. He'll get it back to Crookshank, right back to Versich on the left side. Cristiano Versich in the left circle, back to Crookshank. His one-timer blocked, and it's tapped wide of the goal by Gooch, who is trying to get the puck over to Mashad. Now here's Yoon keeping in and gets it over to Versich. He lets go of the shot. Rennick makes the save. Yoon with a blast that's blocked. Loose out in front. Gooch put it wide of the left post. Rennick had lost his stick. Five seconds left in the power play. Tigers putting pressure on now. Here is Gooch from the left circle. His shot saved. Rebound. Picked up by Gooch. St. Cloud at full strength. Best pressure of the night so far from the Tigers. Versich in the left circle. Knocked away from him. Berzola's blast is blocked. Loose in the near corner. Played up the near boards. Berzola keeps it in. Puck rolls in to the left corner. Jack Oshin's going to pick it up there. Less than four to play here in the period. Here's Oshin skating it up to center ice. Ashen bumped off the puck by McCaskill. He'll get it ahead now to Mashad. Mashad rolled it into the slot. Play broken up, and now Wallen, or make that Walker, gets it ahead now to Ryan Paling. Paling goes through the slot over the left wing boards, being hounded by Berzola. Berzola knocked the puck free, but Walker keeps it in the zone. Now it's rolled out into the neutral zone, quickly put back in behind the Tiger goal. 3.20 to play here in the first period. Shots are even at seven. Tigers had plenty of pressure on that last power play chance. Now Zach Berzola gets it ahead, intended for Bradley. It goes off his stick into the left corner. Tigers completing some personnel changes. Ryan Paling skates it up across the Tiger line, trying to walk down the slot. Lost the handle on it. LeClaire pushes it into the far corner. Israel gets it ahead to center ice for Oki. Oki gains the zone. Hits the trailing Farney. Farney's shot goes wide of the net. Rebound picked up by Jimmy Schuld. And he's going to play it hard off the left wing boards. Too far for Lazat on a direct pass. Then Lazat lost an edge going after the puck behind the Tiger goal. He goes tumbling hard into the boards. He's okay. It's been a rough first period for Blake Lazat. 2.34 to play in the period. Now Lazat carries down the right side. Cuts toward the net. His shot. Stop by LeClaire, rebound picked up by the Tigers. Middendorf gave it away, but got it right back. Now Berg kicks it over to Ben Israel. Israel 
Hands it off to Farney, who slows things down now. 2.15 remaining in the first. No score in the game. Here's Middendorf into the St. Cloud zone. Rolls it in on Rennick. He's going to glove it, hold on, and we'll take a break. 2.05 to play here in the first period. No score. 125 seconds left in the period. Conzo. Middendorf and Versich the forwards. Conzo wins the draw. Middendorf from the slot. His shot never made it to the goal. Knocked down by Ashen out in front. Ashen swings it up the far boards, gets it out of the zone, and from center ice, Middendorf sends it back to Pernitsky. Pernitsky ahead now to Conzo. Conzo in across the St. Cloud line. Conzo gets it over to Yoon. Yoon to Middendorf. His backhander flies over the net. Pinching in is Pernitsky. Tigers keep it in the zone. Yoon with a nice little move. Walks down the left side with it. Yoon into the left corner. The freshman hands it off to Versich. Midboards left side. Cristiano Versich. Versich hands it off for Conzo. Conzo sends it cross ice, looking for Middendorf deep in the right circle. Pass was deflected over to the boards, but Middendorf gets control of it. Gets it over for Conzo. Conzo in the right corner, tied up. Middendorf's going to pick it up. Middendorf. Let's go with a wrister glove by Rennick, and he'll hold on with a minute 10 to play in the first period. Face off to the left of David Rennick. Mason Berg out there for the draw against Blake Lazat. Huskies control it. Schuld will give it back to John Lazat. Lazat over to the right side, lifts it out to center ice, final minute of the period. Now Blake Lazat up to the Tiger line, but Newell was knocked down and he was off sides. And we'll get a face off outside the Tiger blue line. Face off right in front of the Tigers bench. Mason Berg wins this draw. Bradley interfered with as he sent the puck into the St. Cloud zone. Tiger bench wondering where the penalty is. Tigers get control. Blumenshine sends it back out to center. Newell taps it back to John Lazad. Over to Schuld on the left side. He'll wrist it in behind the Tiger net. Knocked down by LeClaire. He'll wrist it around the boards. Comes down to Blumenshine. Blumenshine. Sends it to center ice off the skate of Halloran. It rolls deep into the St. Cloud zone. Final 20 seconds of the first period. John Lazat behind his own net. He just wants to let the time roll off the clock here. Final 10 seconds. He'll give it to Schultz. Schultz sends it ahead for Jackson, who rolls it into the Tiger zone, and that's going to do it here. The final two seconds come off the clock, and there's the horn. So an evenly played first period. The Tigers had two power play chances. The Huskies had one. Nobody able to score. Huskies back on the ice as we're set for the start of the second period. Kent Landau here at the Broadmoor World Arena. No score in this one. Shots were even at eight. And the Tigers in their gold jerseys will skate from left to right across your radio here in the third. Mason Berg wins the faceoff to start the period. Farney sends it ahead for Bradley, who tips it in the zone, and Mason Berg being interfered with, and Blake Lazat's going to go back to his favorite spot tonight, the penalty box. That's his third penalty of the game. 3 penalties called against... St. Cloud, all three of them whistled against Blake Lazad, and this one comes just nine seconds into the period. Power play for charity presented by CNC Sand and Stone Company. Off the draw, it's played into the left corner of the St. Cloud zone. Mashad sweeps it around the boards into the right corner. Trey Bradley gathers it in. Bradley. 
Spun off the puck and it will be cleared by Nick Paling. LeClaire settles it down for Christian Blumenschein. Blumenschein will skate it across center ice into the St. Cloud zone on the left side. Sends it in behind the net. Chopped around the boards by Mashad. It's sent back to the line. Mason Berg. Berg gives it back over on the right side to Halloran. Halloran gives it a Blumenschein. He'll hand it off to Halloran. His shot goes through the goal mouth. Missed the right post. Berg will give it to Bradley. Back to the line. Blumenschein back to Bradley. He'll feather a pass to Blumenschein. Top of the slot down low on the left side. Halloran. Halloran. Outer edge of the left circle. Sends it behind the goal line, below the goal line for Berg. Mason Berg now on the right side. Berg, still with control, walks down the right side into the right circle, hands it off to Bradley. 45 seconds left in the power play. Blumenshine over to Halloran. His shot is blocked by John Lazat, and he will shovel it down the ice. Tigers without a shot on goal on this power play so far. Half a minute remaining in the man advantage. Christian Blumenschein from in his own zone. Over to the left side, here is Crookshank. Crookshank down the left side, plays it behind the net. Versich reaching for it, can't gather it in. It's played off the near boards, and Crookshank skates it down. Crookshank hands it off to Berardinelli. Back to Yoon on the right side. Back to Berardinelli in the right circle. Berardinelli, cross ice pass intended for Versich, skips over his stick. Versich on the left side, back to the line. Crookshank back to Versich. Versich back to Crookshank. His blast blocker saved by Rennick as the power play expires and the puck goes out of play. So the Tigers get a shot on goal at the very end of the power play. So the Tigers now 0 for 3 with a man advantage. Face off to the right of David Rennick. Ryan Paling wins the face off and the Huskies will send it out to center ice. Now here's Jackson, into the Tiger zone, knocked off his stick, he's gonna get it right back. Jackson hands it off now for Schultz. Schultz sends it right through the slot. Pass missed the stick of Nolan Walker. Now the Tigers send it down to the St. Cloud zone. Middendorf rolls it in behind the net. Ryan Paling. Gets it over to Perbix, and now we're going to get a penalty call here against the Tigers, I believe. And St. Cloud will get a power play chance here, two minutes and 41 seconds into the period. Conzo's going to go to the box. It's going to be a hooking call. 2.41 the time of the call. St. Cloud going on the power play for the second time in the game. Face off to the right of Alex LeClaire. Now, what are they going over? Tom Stearns and Tim Walsh have gone over to the timekeeper's table. I'm not sure what they're going over there to do. I mean, there's really, you know, unless they're going to watch a little bit of LSU Alabama, I'm not sure what's worth watching on TV right now. But they're going to watch a little TV. Scott Lowenberg doesn't know why they're in there, and if he doesn't know, nobody knows for sure. Tigers hit the road next weekend. They'll be up at Duluth. Nothing like Duluth in mid-November. On the western shores of Lake Superior. Well, whatever it was, They were looking at a hit. I don't know what hit they were looking at. Face off to the right of Alex LeClaire. St. Cloud on the power play. 
Puck is down, and the Huskies will try to set things up in the Tiger zone. Here is Scholl. Gives it over to Ashen. Back over to Scholl. He'll give it a Paling. Paling in the left circle. Cross ice. Here's a blast from the right circle that sails over the net. Paling. Back to Jimmy Scholl. Scholl puts it down low. Now Paling. Back to Scholl. Into the right circle. One time attempt. Stopped by LeClaire. Jackson's shot is stopped and the Tigers are able to clear. 35 seconds gone in the penalty kill. Long feet ahead for Jackson. He'll tip it deep into the Tiger zone. Yoon gets there, shovels it behind the net. Pernitsky a little slow reacting on that, and that gave St. Cloud a chance to get on top of him. But the puck is out of the zone, at least briefly, and now the Tigers get a chance to whip it the length of the ice. One minute gone in the penalty to Troy Conzo. Here's Newell into the Tiger zone. Slams on the brakes. Midboard's right side. Sends it behind the net. Nolan Walker. Back over to Newell on the right side. Ashen. Top of the slot. Sends it wide of the net. Now Perbix along the left side. Slides it into the left corner. Benson to Perbix behind the net. Now the puck comes over to the right side. Newell gets it back to the line. Jack Oshin. Oshin tees up a one-timer. Fanned on it. Crookshank's going to pick it up and drive it the length of the ice. 15 seconds remaining in the Conzo penalty. 15 and a half to play in the second period. It's a scoreless game here at the Broadmoor World Arena. Oshin slowly up to center ice. Now here's Newell down the left side. Feeds it to Oshin. His shot is blocked by Berg. Tigers are at full strength. Conzo's out of the box. Nolan Walker has it skipped past him. And now Trey Bradley gathers it in. Bradley gives it to Farney. Farney ahead to center ice. Berg will tip it into the St. Cloud zone. That's going to be an icing call here. And the faceoff will come back into the Tigers zone. Centura Orthopedics is home to Colorado's most experienced orthopedic doctors who offer a personalized approach to care. Centura Orthopedics is the official sports medicine provider for Colorado College Athletics and CC Tiger Hockey. They're also proud to support the soon-to-be-built Robeson Arena on the Colorado College campus. Find them online at centuraorthopedics.org. Face off to the left of LeClaire. Berg wins the draw. Penalty call coming here to St. Cloud. Puck's going to be sent the length of the ice. No icing here as Bradley chops it behind the net. Touched up by St. Cloud. They, they blew the whistle. Not sure why. Okay, it's time for tonight. But we're going to get a power play. And first we're going to take a break here. 14.51 to play here in the second. No score. You're listening to Colorado College Tiger Hockey Night on the CC Tiger Hockey Network.
of LeClaire. Berg, Bradley, and Halloran up front. Berg wins this draw, and it's going to be cleared out to center ice, and Bradley hands it back over to Berg. Berg down the left side. Berg, he lets go of the shot. It goes off the arm of Rennick into the right corner. It's rolled back behind the net. Spencer Meyer springs it ahead, and Benson trying to work the puck in the Tiger zone. It's knocked away from him. We're under 12 to play in the period. Halloran. Hands it off to Berg. Berg up to the St. Cloud line. Lost the handle on the puck. And it's going to be bounced the length of the ice, and we're going to get another icing call here against St. Cloud. Much tighter checking game here from the Tigers. They're not giving St. Cloud much time and space on the ice. And that hasn't allowed the Huskies uh, to really kind of generate much in the way of sustained offense like they did last night. They had the puck in the Tiger zone for long periods of time. Here's a shot by Copeland from the slot that sails over the net. Copeland gets it again between the circles. The shot goes just wide. Now Yoon try to play it out in front. It deflects behind the net and rolls up the boards on the left side. Pernitsky rolls it back in behind the goal. Spencer Meyer. Gets it over to Wallen. He loses it. Now here's Copeland. His shot is blocked. And it's going to be gathered in by Wallen, who sends it over to the open right wing. Nobody there except Alex Pernitsky. Now the puck sent out to center ice. Mashad gives it over to Copeland. Copeland across the line. Copeland lets go of the shot. That goes off a skate into the near corner. Copeland plays it behind the net. Mashad had it taken away from him by Perbix. And now the Huskies try to break up ice with it. Nick Paling. Slowed down by Blumenschein. Berzola plays it up the far boards. Perbix with a shot right in on LeClaire, who makes the save. That hit him up in the chest. Kept alive by St. Cloud. Jack Paling gives it to Nick. Nick Paling back to the line. Perbix over to Ashen. Ashen had it roll over his stick, and it comes out of the zone. And Ashen's going to get it back and send it in behind the Tiger net. Ten and a half to play here in the second. No score in the game. Berzola plays it up the right side. Ashen keeps it in, gets it to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald hands it off. Here is Nick Paling with a shot stop by LeClaire. Now the Tigers have a chance coming back the other way. Here's Conzo. Conzo, Tigers making a line change. Conzo forced behind the net, still has it. Conzo comes out the left side. Or make that uh, Versich has it. His shot is blocked, and it comes out. Saw the nine, didn't see the two. Conzo's 19, Versich 29. Now Fitzgerald sends it into the slot intended for John Lazat. Skips past him. It's going to slide deep into the St. Cloud zone. Rennick gets out there to play it before Tanner Oki can get in on the play. 9.40 to play in the period. Jack Oshin tried to clear it out of his own zone. Broken up by Gooch. And then Oshin puts a stick up high on Trevor Gooch. Another penalty call coming here to St. Cloud. Delayed penalty coming. There's the whistle, and the Tigers are going to go back on the power play, but that will happen after a break.
4.56 remaining in the second period. The Tigers with one goal tonight. It belongs to Weston Machado. A power play tally at 11.28 of this second period. Puck's going to be rolled back into the St. Clair to the Tigers' zone. Brian Yoon. His pass broken up, but Oki's going to swing it into the Husky zone. Gooch gives chase. Perbix gets there first, sends it over to Oshin in the far corner. Now Ryan Paling swings it back over to Jack Oshin. He'll play it up the far boards. Walker rolls it just out across the line. Tigers regain control. Tanner Oki, who had a two-point night last night, flips it into the right corner of the St. Cloud end. Perbix, big, lanky freshman defenseman, gets it out ahead for Walker, then Gooch. Knocked off the puck by Oshin. That was a pretty decent hit there. Now here's Ryan Paling into the Tiger zone, trying to get around Farney. Does so. Let's go with a shot saved by LeClear. Rebound attempt. Rolls through the crease, and then the Tigers are able to clear. Great effort there by Trevor Gooch to backhand that puck the length of the ice. It's going to be an icing call, but they'll gladly take it. remaining in the period. And I think Mike Havlin's gonna use his time out here. Down to 4.03 to play in the period. Tigers getting the job done at both ends of the ice in a very tight game here. Tigers 1 for 5 on the power play. St. Cloud 0 for 2. They'll drop the puck back in the Tigers zone. Hey, tomorrow morning, you're out running errands or whatever it might be, stop by the Black Bear Diner for breakfast. And it doesn't have to be in the morning. It could be in the afternoon or the evening as well. The Black Bear Diner has been serving up great, old-fashioned family food since 2006. Three locations for you on Academy Boulevard, on Garden of the Gods Road, and now in Fountain. And best of all, they're locally owned and operated by Colorado College alums. Guys who went to the hospitality and uh, restaurant school at CC. Oh, they don't have one there. All right, Ryan Paling trying to or make that uh, Jacob Benson trying to fix something on his left skate. Seems to have that figured out. Face off to the right of LeClaire. For the umpteenth time, we've chased somebody out of a face off because everybody paid good money to watch the linesman chase guys out of faceoffs. Halloran steps in for the draw and he will win the faceoff. Israel sweeps it around the boards behind the Tiger goal. Halloran shovels it up the left side. It comes out of the zone and bouncing around at center ice. Pernitsky chased after, couldn't get to it. Now Bradley, Bradley lost the handle on the puck trying to get around the St. Cloud defenseman Jimmy Scholl. Ben Israel had it knocked away from him just inside the Tiger line by Benson. No harm done. Israel gets it back behind the net. He'll play it up the far boards into the neutral zone. It's going to slide into the St. Cloud end. Here's Berg racing after his shot from a steep angle. Glove by Rennick and he'll hold on. 3.25 remaining in the second period. I'd have to get me a little Black Bear Diner breakfast tomorrow myself. Big old stack of pancakes. Sounds good. Weston Machad out to take the face off against Blake Lazat. Machad, the lone goal getter in the game. And we're going to chase Lazat out of the face off. And again, I don't know why they keep doing this. Machad wins the draw. Crookshank flips it into the right corner. Race for the puck in the corner. Copeland trying to work it free. It squirts loose, and Jack Oshin's going to pick it up. Skates in front of his own net, and now charges up ice. Oshin to the red line. Sends it down to the Tiger blue line, and we've got an offside call here against St. Cloud. 
So looking ahead through the month of November, the Tigers are at Duluth next Friday and Saturday. Saturday's game is going to be televised on Altitude Sports. Game time, 6.07 both nights. Local time here. And the Tigers return home to take on Miami. Tigers will take Thanksgiving weekend off, and then it's off to Omaha. Tigers will send it in to the St. Cloud zone. Right corner, Mashad rolls it behind the net. Spencer Meyer springs it ahead, and now here comes Bushy across the line to Lazat. Fanned on his pass attempt. Merzola ties Lazat up deep along the left wing boards. Puck is free in the corner. McCaskill can't do much with it. Now Henches gets it back to Meyer. His long shot steered aside easily by LeClaire. Two and a half to play here in the second period. Tigers with a 1-0 lead. Newell working the puck in the Tiger zone. Hands it off to Henches. The freshman sends it right out in front. Pass to Flex behind. Newell now a wrister by Bushy goes wide of the net. Meyer over on the right side. Sends it in behind the net. Patrick Newell. Feeds it through the slot. It deflects over to the left wing boards. Jack Paling just off the bench. Carries into the left corner. Paling shovels it back toward the line. Bushy, Bushy plays it to Fitzgerald in the left corner. Fitzgerald sends it back into the corner. Copeland trying to tie up Nick Paling. Can't. Now Jack Paling sends it back to Meyer. Meyer over on the right side. Gives it back to Nick Paling. Returns the pass. Meyer back to Nick Paling. 1.45 to play in the period. Puck rolls in behind the Tiger net. Brzola. Pokes at it, can't get control. Now Fitzgerald sends it back to the line. Perbix to Ashen. Ashen shovels it back over to the right side. Fitzgerald. Kevin Fitzgerald, his pass picked off by Versic, and he'll charge up ice with a puck. Versic up to the St. Cloud line. Lost the handle on it. Now St. Cloud trying to come back the other way, but the pass comes off the stick of Jack Paling. Paling in the right corner. Sends it back to the line. Perbix. He'll roll it in behind the Tiger goal. Puck squirts loose, and now it is Tanner Oki. Oki gives it away to Jackson. Jackson with a shot that goes wide of the net. Fitzgerald behind the Tiger goal, coming up on a one minute to play in the period. Perbix with a shot that goes wide of the net. Tiger's got to get out of the period here with the lead. Nice steal by Gooch. Gooch tried to clear, couldn't. Now on the second effort, gets it ahead to Oki. Oki into the St. Cloud zone down the right side. He's knocked off the puck by Perbix. It's played ahead, and now here is Ryan Paling. Paling across the Tiger line. Hands it off, coming down the slide. Here's a shot by Fitzgerald that goes wide of the net. Tiger net, her goaltender looked like he might have been interfered with. That was Walker. Now here's a move by Yoon. Gets around a man. Yoon steps into the St. Cloud zone. He's knocked off the puck. John Lazat will take it. 25 seconds left in the period. John Lazat sends it ahead to center ice. Now it's shoveled ahead for Paling. His shot off a skate goes wide of the net. He'll get it himself. Shovels it back to the line. Scholl. Schultz pass, goes over to John Lazat. Long shot saved by LeClaire. 10 seconds left in the period. Berg tries to muscle it out of the zone, can't. Now here is Paling in the right corner, centers it, it comes through the slot, and finally taken out of the zone by Berg. Time's gonna run out, and there's the horn. Berg puts it in after the horn sounds. John Lazat's gonna try to say something, and then Berg takes a hit well after. Everything should have stopped. We ought to get a penalty here against whoever that was from St. Cloud. That was totally unnecessary. And say what you will about Berg taking the shot after the horn. He might not have heard the horn. Even if he did, the hit from Ryan Paling was a Bush League move since Berg was blindsided. And there ought to be some penalties coming here. Now we got Mason Berg and Jack Paling. Jack Paling thinks he's smart. He's yapping away. But Berg picked off a pass and then skated up ice with about a couple seconds left in the period. Came in on Rennick. The horn sounded. Berg put it, in, in, put it into the net anyway. And then as he skated over to the far boards, he was blindsided, I think, by Ryan Paling. I can't say for sure. And now the officials are meeting to discuss things. But there should be a penalty coming here to one of the Huskies. The dangerous play, an uncalled for play. So while the officials try to work things out here, we'll take a break. 
Teams are back on the ice here at the Broadmoor World Arena. Ken Landau with you as we're set for the start of the third period. Colorado College won St. Cloud nothing. We'll start the period skating four aside. Penalties at the 20 minute mark. To the Tigers, Mason Berg, two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. And two minutes to Ryan Paling for roughing. Tigers skate from right to left across your radio here in the third period. Shots are 19-18 in favor of the Tigers. The Huskies win the opening faceoff to get the third period underway. Blake Lazat will lug the puck up to center ice for St. Cloud. He'll cross the Tiger blue line, pulls up on the right side. Lazat skates it along the blue line, cuts toward the net down the left side. Poke checked off his stick by Farney. Nice play by Andrew Farney. Now Robbie Jackson with a shot. Stopped by LeClaire. Rebound picked up by Farney, who tries to push it ahead but can't get it out of the zone. Lazat pushes it into the right corner. He's all by himself out there. St. Cloud trying to make a line change here. Lazat has the puck knocked away from him by Farney, and Israel will pick it up, and he'll chip it ahead now to Halloran. Halloran headmans it now to Crookshank. Crookshank by himself into the St. Cloud zone. Tried to cut toward the net, but he lost an edge and lost the puck at the same time. Here's Perbix skating it up ice for the Huskies in across the Tiger line. Cuts down the left side. Perbix keeps going. Brizola had his stick pulled out of his hand by Perbix. Penalty call coming here to St. Cloud. Or it's going to be a slashing call rather to Perbix. So a minute eight seconds into the third. And Perbix goes to the box. Slashing call, and the Tigers will have a four on three power play. In each period tonight, St. Cloud has been assessed a penalty very early. 35 seconds into the first period, nine seconds into the second, and a minute eight seconds into the third. Tigers win the draw. Power play for charity presented by CNC Sand and Stone Company. Four on three advantage here. Here's Haller. His shot is blocked. Puck trickles into the left corner. Machado has the lone goal in the game. Now Bradley, deep in the right circle. The Blumenshine back over to Bradley. Bradley sends it cross ice. It deflects away from Halloran. He'll pick it up off the boards. Halloran to Bradley, deep in the right circle out front. Machado, his backhand shot stopped by Rennick. He looked behind him. Rennick didn't actually have the puck. Halloran saying, hey, why'd you blow it so quickly? 26 seconds remaining in the penalties to Mason Berg and Ryan Paling. A minute 33 remaining in the Tiger power play. Face off in the right circle of the St. Cloud zone. Mashad, Bradley, and Halloran up front. Mashad gets chased from the face off. Halloran wins the draw. Here's Blumenshine giving it over to Bradley on the right side. Bradley in the right circle. Back to Blumenshine. Top of the slot over to Halloran. Couldn't let him one timer go. Halloran. Let's go with the wrister. It deflects over to Bradley. Bradley sends it back to Halloran just inside the line. Nick Halloran, top of the right circle. His shot goes wide of the net. Blumenshine on the left side. Berg and Paling come out of the box right now. Here is Blumenshine with a shot saved by Rennick. Now comes back to Blumenshine. His blast is blocked. Bradley. Swings it off the boards to Berg. Berg into the high slot. He lets go of the shot. It's stopped by Rennick, and the rebound's going to be picked up, and here comes Ryan Paling into the Tiger zone. Knocked away from him by Berg, and Berg's going to get it over to Blumenshine. 45 seconds remaining in the power play. Tigers looking ahead of their 1-0 lead. Now here is Mashad with a shot save. Rebound loose in the slot, and Jack Paling's going to try to kick it out of the zone, and he does. Yoon couldn't get over to keep the puck in. Now Yoon gets it over to Halloran. He'll hand it off to Mashad. Mashad down the left side, deep into the St. Cloud zone. Takes a hit from Jay Cox. Now Halloran deep along the left side. His shot goes off a skate wide of the net. Berardinelli chases it down, sends it back to the line. Berg, 13 seconds left in the power play. Here's Berardinelli shoveling it back to Berg. His shot stick saved by Rennick. Berg still looking for that first goal of the year. Mashad sends it behind the net. 
Jaycox will chip it over to the far board. St. Cloud's at full strength. Tigers now one for six on the power play. 16.45 to play here in the third period. Tigers with a one nothing lead. Oshin's pass broken up. Mason Berg had it knocked off his stick. And now Henches sends it back and it comes ahead. Drop pass for Henches, sends it right through the goal mouth. Pass broken up by Gooch. Here's a shot by Meyer that's blocked by Gooch. Trevor Gooch has been very effective on the ice tonight. Brizola sends it out to center ice. Now Meyer will take it. Meyer sends it ahead to Blake Lazat. Lazat forced into the right corner. Sends it back to the line. Meyer gives it to Newell. Newell with a shot. It goes off the body of Henches out in front of the Tiger net. Henches skates it down along the right wing board. Sends it behind the goal. Newell in the left corner. Trying to get away from McCaskill. Can't. Now Sam Henches from a knee. Gets back up. Puck comes off his stick. And it's going to be Gooch pushing it ahead to center ice. He'll hand it off to Oki. Oki in across the line. Backhands it behind the St. Cloud net. 15.35 left in the period. Israel keeps it in the zone on the right side. Pinches in deep. Israel goes behind the net. Centering pass broken up. Battle for the puck in the right corner. Copeland gets there. Ben Copeland. Skates behind the goal, now steps out in front. Feeds it back to Farney. Farney's shot, looking for a redirect from Oki. Oki couldn't get it toward the net. Now it's bounced into the left corner. Oki pokes it back. Meyer holding up. Copeland, or make that Middendorf. And a centering pass is broken up, and it slides all the way back into the Tiger zone. Israel retreats behind the net with a puck. 15 minutes to play here in the third. Tigers with a 1-0 lead. Konzo tied up in the neutral zone along the right wing boards. Puck squirts free, and now it's gonna be sent down to the Tiger line. Penalty call coming here to Colorado College. And we'll take a break. 14.50 to play here in the third. Tigers won, St. Cloud nothing. And St. Cloud goes on the power play for the third time in the game. Huge penalty kill here for the Tigers. 14.50 left here in the third. Tigers with a one nothing lead. Huskies control the draw. Jimmy Schuld hands it off to Ryan Paling. Paling, top of the left circle, feeds it down low. Here's a shot by Brodzinski, stopped by LeClaire, and then jumping on top of the pile, Robbie Jackson. Really no need for that. but when you're the little guy, you want to be the last guy on the pile. You don't want to be at the bottom of the pile when you're a little guy like Robbie Jackson, who's 5'10", 193 pounds, with rocks in his skates. Face off to the right of LeClaire. Crookshank against Lazat. Lazat wins the draw. Here's Schuld. Schuld has it. Hands it off to Paling. His shot is blocked by Farney. Farney leads the NCHC in block shots. And now Crookshank trying to get it out of the zone. Couldn't, but Farney does, and he will send it the length of the ice. The first half minute gone in the penalty kill. Schuld will send it ahead to Brodzinski. Brodzinski down the right side. His shot saved by LeClaire. Big rebound. Pushed into the corner. Israel. Gets it to Oki. Oki chips it back to Israel behind the net. He's got time and space, and he'll diagonally send it off the right wing boards and down the ice. Under 14 remaining in the third period. Tigers with a 1-0 lead. One minute remaining in the Versage penalty. Here comes Jack Oshin. He'll swing it back to Benson. Benson with speed across the Tiger line. Hands it off to Perbix on the right side. He'll give it back to the line to Oshin. Right side now, Newell. Newell down low along the right side. Newell gets it back from Walker, and now it's sent through the goal mouth. Comes over to the far side, and Oki clears. Not out. Oshin with a nice job to keep it in. Knocked it down with his gloved hand. Now Benson in the right circle. Feeds it down behind the net. Walker centering pass to flex over to Newell in the right circle. Newell. Looks for an angle, his shot knocked down out in front. It's loose out in front of the Tiger net. Finally swept out of the zone by Oki as the Tigers had four defenders within six feet of the goal mound. 10 seconds left in the penalty kill. Here's Benson across the CC line, gives it a perfect to the defenseman, clangs it off the side of the net. It's poked ahead for Berg. 
Berg's going to airmail it down the ice as Versich comes out of the box. Tigers are at full strength. Oshin plays it ahead now to Perbix. 12.40 to play in the third period. Much needed penalty kill there for the Tigers. Oshin skates it up to center ice. Gives it on the left side, Fitzgerald. He'll cut behind the Tiger goal. He'll come out on the right side. Back to John Lazat. His wrist shot knocked down out in front. Here's Jack Paling picking up the loose change, and he roofs it over LeClaire, who had no chance, and we've got a tie game. Jack Paling was in the right spot at the right time, and he picked up the loose puck off the rebound and drove it in to tie the game at one. Jack Paling's second goal of the year. And we've got a 1-1 game. So Nick Paling gets the primary assist. And John Lazat, the secondary assist. Now St. Cloud bringing it back into the Tiger zone. Nolan Walker hasn't knocked off his stick. Halloran taking a little too much time with the puck. He comes out in front. Here's a shot by Jackson, stopped by LeClaire. That might have hit him in the face mask. But that's why you wear him. Now here is Walker handing it off to... Ryan Paling, he's pinched off the play by McCaskill. That's a nice play by Cole McCaskill. Pernitsky will lug it up to center ice and now into the St. Cloud zone. Hands it off now. The pass comes through the slot intended for Bradley. It goes behind him. And now it's going to be pushed down ice by Jake Wallen. Wallen pulls up in the right corner. His pass broken up by Berardinelli. And it's lifted right back into the Tiger zone. Tigers can't afford to get sloppy here. Now Oki sends it ahead to Berardinelli. He hands it back to Blumenschein. He's going to roll it in on Rennick, and he'll slap a glove on top of it with 11 minutes and one second to play in the period. Let's pause 10 seconds right now for station identification. You are listening to Colorado College Tiger Hockey Night on the CC Tiger Hockey Network. Face off in the St. Cloud zone, controlled by the Huskies, and now here comes Newell. Into the Tiger zone, down the left side, Patrick Newell, forced behind the net, still has it, sends it back to the line, Perbix. His shot is blocked by Gooch, and Berardinelli's gonna send it out to center ice. He'll give chase, Berardinelli tied up at the line, gets it in the zone, he's gonna pick it up, Berardinelli, long shot saved by Rennick, that handcuffed him a bit, and he'll hold on. Alex Berardinelli's been kind of quiet this weekend. The junior from Pittsburgh. Where's the number of his favorite quarterback? Ben Roethlisberger. Who will lead the Steelers over the Baltimore Ravens tomorrow. Face off to the left of David Rennick. Another face off win for Kevin Fitzgerald. The puck's going to be lifted down to the Tiger line. Quickly sent back up ice. John Lazat gets it over to Jimmy Schuld. Ahead now for Nick Paling. Paling's going to roll it into the CC zone. LeClaire swings it around the boards. Pushed back behind the net. Troy Conzo gets it ahead to Versich. Versich chips it up the right side. Deep into the St. Cloud end. Middendorf will roll it into the left wing corner. Versich looked out front. Didn't have anywhere to go with it, so he tried to give it back over to Conzo. He was tied up and shoaled. We'll get it over to Jack Paling, who just scored the St. Cloud goal. 1-1 game. Just past the halfway mark of the third period. Shoaled for St. Cloud. Keeps it in at the Tiger line. Gets it to Jack Paling. Paling centers it. Comes over to Oshin. His st- shot stopped by LeClaire. He'll hold on. And Jack Paling with a little shot after the whistle on Troy Conzo. We'll take a break here. 9.42 to play here in the third. We got a 1-1 game. 
9.42 to play in the third period. We've got a 1-1 game. The Tiger goal coming on the power play at 11.28 of the second period. Weston Mashad with his fourth of the season. Jack Paling tying it up for St. Cloud at 7.38 of the third with his second of the year. Robbie Jackson has it for the Huskies, gets it over to Jack Osh, and Osh sends it over to the right side, Perbix. Perbix sends it out in front, it goes off a skate, and Caroms over to the far side. Tigers have numbers here if they hurry. Here is Halloran over to Bradley. Bradley back to Berg. Berg tried to get it over to Halloran. He should have shot the puck instead. Pass was broken up. Here come the Huskies back the other way, two on one. Now Jake Wallen forced behind the Tiger net, centering pass. Comes over to Ashen and make that Ryan Paling was behind the net, his centering pass. The pat puck ended up over the Tiger goal, and now Israel sends it ahead to Berg. Berg in across the line. Berg steps into the slot. His wrist shot goes wider than that. Now Halloran played it off the side of the goal. Berzola keeps it in. Walks down the right side. Sends it in behind the net. Blake Lazat will send it ahead. Now Sam Henches. Henches. The freshman trying to get away from Blumenshine can't, but he'll roll it in behind the net. Here's Blake Lazat. Lazat trying to get away from Blumenshine. Lazat trying to step out front, lost the handle on the puck. It's kept alive. Now here's a shot by Lazat, saved by Leclerc. Crookshank plays it off the near boards, a little too hard for Copeland. St. Cloud keeps it in the Tiger zone. Blumenshine's going to pick it up. He looks for a place to go, and he'll give it over on the left side to Copeland. Copeland. Skates it up out of the zone, out to center ice, keeps control. Copeland swings it over to the left side, Mashad. Mashad takes a hit but sends it into the left wing corner. Puck is kicked along the boards. Copeland battling for it. John Lazat gets there ahead of him. Eight minutes to play in the period. 1-1 game. John Lazat from behind his own net sends it ahead to Brodzinski. Brodzinski trying to get away from Pernitsky. Gets the pass over to Jake Wall and his shot is blocked. It's loose in the slot in front of the Tiger net. Now Berard Nelly chips it ahead now to Gooch. Over to the left side, Oki. Oki lets go with a shot that goes off a skate up into the netting and out of play. And we'll get a face off in the St. Cloud zone with 7.36 remaining in the third period of a 1-1 game. Tigers travel to the western shore of Lake Superior next weekend to take on top-ranked Minnesota Duluth, the team that's idle this weekend. Face off to the right of Rennick. St. Cloud wins another draw. Here is Nick Paling, giving it over to Jack Paling. Paling has the only goal Jack does for St. Cloud. Now Fitzgerald rolls it in behind the Tiger net. Comes over to the near side, and Tanner Oki sends it ahead a little too far for Trevor Gooch. Now Fitzgerald, he'll flip it into the Tiger zone. McCaskill tried to chip it up the far boards, couldn't get it anywhere. Now it's kicked back in behind the Tiger net. Oki battling there. Tanner Oki doesn't have a big body, but he's shielding the puck well. He'll whip it around the boards, knocked down by Nick Paling. Paling skates behind the Tiger net. Paling comes out front, his shot goes through the goal mouth. And in over to the far boards. Now Fitzgerald. Hands it off to Jack Paling. Paling working behind the Tiger net. Went down, got back up. He still has it. Jack Paling sends it back to the line. Jimmy Scholl. He'll send it cross ice to Austin. Into the slot for Nick Paling. Paling. Trying to get away from McCaskill. Gets it to Jack Paling in the left circle. Let's go with a shot. Saved by LeClaire. Steers it over to the near boards. Buck is in the Tiger zone, now comes out of the zone, blind pass by Fitzgerald. Nobody saw it for the Tigers, and it goes all the way back into the St. Cloud zone. 6.15 left here in the third. 1-1 game, Versich broke up a pass at center ice, and it's rolled into the St. Cloud end. Ryan Paling trying to work his way up the near boards, lost the puck, and Conzo will lift it into the Husky zone. Kind of quiet here in the World Arena right now. The pucks rolled the length of the ice in on LeClaire. LeClaire gives it to Berzola. Berzola ahead now to Versich. Versich has Conzo on the right side. Conzo gains the zone. Conzo's wrist shot goes off the stick wide of the net. Middendorf can't get to the puck, and here's Walker. Handing it off to Paling. His shot goes off the stick. It flutters up into the netting behind the Tiger net. And we'll get a face off in the Colorado College zone. 
Fourth quarter from Evanston, Illinois. Notre Dame 24, Northwestern 21. Face off to the left of Alex LeClaire. Mason Berg against Blake Lazat for the draw. And the Tigers win that face off and get it out of their own end thanks to the backhand effort of Trey Bradley. It's rolled back in behind the Tiger net. Pernitsky couldn't handle it cleanly and now Blake Lazat deep on the right side. He'll send it cross ice over to the left circle. Back to the line, Ashen. Ashen almost mishandled it. Kept it in the zone, however. Perbix will give it over to Sam Henches. Henches in the right corner. Comes out of the corner. Hands it back to Perbix. Perbix gives it back to Henches. He's got plenty of room. Left circle. His shot blocker saved by LeClaire. Henches leaves it in the left corner now for Lazat. Blake Lazat has it. We're under five to play here in the third. Ashen plays it down the left side to Newell. St. Cloud now working the puck in the Tiger zone and having the puck quite often in the Tiger zone. So they're working the puck well, just as they did in the final 40 minutes last night. But here's Yoon with an interception. Yoon will lug it ahead to center ice. It's passed too far for Trey Bradley. Four and a half to play here in the third of a 1-1 game. Puck's lifted out to center ice. Yoon knocks it down and then backhands it into the St. Cloud zone. Tigers complete a lane ch li uh, line change here. And now Crookshank. Behind the net, gives it to Mashad. Weston Mashado has the lone Tiger goal, gets it to Crookshank. Crookshank along the right wing boards. Crookshank slips and falls. Puck comes free, and now Perbix has it knocked away from him by Crookshank. Puck comes over to the left side. Here's Farney. Farney rolls it behind the net. Mashad has it. Mashad sends it back to the line. Israel. Israel wrists it toward the goal. It's loose out in front. Scramble for the puck in the out in front of the net. Backhander by Copeland goes wide. He'll pick it up. 3.45 to play here. Copeland into the high slot. His shot is blocked. Mashad goes after it. He'll shovel it up the left side. Farney pushes it into the left wing corner. Farney picks it up. Penalty call coming here. Who's it going against? Oh, they're going to give Weston Mashad a penalty here? For what? A phantom high sticking call here against Weston Mashad. We'll take a break. Tigers have a penalty kill with 3.34 to play.
Five left. Bradley over to the left side. Halloran. Halloran tried to get it back to Bradley. Pass intercepted by John Lazad. And now here comes St. Cloud two on one. Here is Lazad. John Le- or, uh, Blake Lazad getting it over to Henches. It's knocked away from him. Now Henches plays it off the back of the Tiger net. Blumenshine has it. Penalty call coming here to St. Cloud. Tiger should just give the puck up and get the power play. Here's Berg, give the puck up and set up the power play, or maybe not. Here's Berg into the St. Cloud zone, drops it back, Halloran. Halloran with a shot, kicked out by Rennick. Delayed penalty call, 50 seconds left here in the third, finally touched up, and the Tigers will close out regulation time with a man advantage. Sam Hentges will go to the box. At 19.09, and the Tigers will get their seventh power play chance of the game. It's a power play for charity presented by Olsen Plumbing and Heating. The Tiger net is empty. Six on four for the Tigers here. Mashad out to take the draw. St. Cloud wins the faceoff. Here's Schultz taken away from him by Berard Nelly. Battle for the puck along the left wing boards. Now Berard Nelly has it. Sends it behind the net, comes back to the line. Here is Yoon, gets it over to Crookshank. His blast fan on it, it's loose out in front. Battle for the puck, scramble for it at the goal mouth. Where is it? It's beneath one of the Huskies. And we're gonna get a face off here with 31.2 seconds to play. Now Trevor Gooch with a word or two for Jack Paling, who's had a lot to say tonight. The faceoff stays in the St. Cloud zone. Tiger goal is empty, net is empty. Six skaters out there for the Tigers, six on four. Mason Berg will take the draw. Berg, Mashad, Goose, Bradley, Halloran, Blumenschein. It'll be Berg against Blake Lazat for the faceoff. They'll try it again. Buck is down. It rolls toward the side of the net. Rennick's going to play it off the glass over on the far side. Knocked down by Bradley. Picked up, sent the length of the ice. Of course, there's no icing because St. Cloud is shorthanded. 18 seconds left. Here comes Halloran. Long feed up to Gooch. Gooch into the St. Cloud zone. Out to Berg. His shot saved by Rennick. And he'll cover up on the rebound. 11 seconds to play. Eleven seconds left here in the third period. Tigers on the power play. The net is empty. St. Cloud with two third period goals to take a 2-1 lead. The shot against Blake Lazat for the faceoff. Blake Lazat yapping at Mashad. Puck is dropped. Sent back to the line, Blumenshine. Seven seconds left, Blumenshine shot. Blocked out in front, picked up by Schuld. He'll whip it around the boards. And the Huskies are gonna hold on to win. They come from behind for the second straight night. Two goals in the third and the Huskies defeat the Tigers 2-1. to one. A controversial penalty late in the game to Weston Mashad gave St. Cloud a power play chance that they cashed in on. 